Today is October the 5th, 2015. My name is Tanya Fincham, along with Alex Bishop. We're with Oklahoma State University, and today we are in Moreland, Oklahoma, to speak with Lahoma Grunwald. Is that close enough? Grunwald. Grunwald. Thank you for talking with us today. Thank you. This is part of our Oklahoma 100 year life, so let's start with having you tell us when and where you were born. Um, 13 in Marlow, Oklahoma. And what else? What day and month? August the 2nd. 1913. And did you have brothers and sisters? There was nine of us in the family. Nine children? Where were you in the order? Uh, <laughs> there was two ahead of us. One, I had... Uh, Aunt Doris. Huh? Aunt Doris was the oldest. Was Aunt Doris the oldest? Yeah. And then Joe? Little Joe. And then you and Oak. Uh-huh. He died as a baby. Joe. You had a twin? Mm-hmm. My name is Lahoma, and he was Oak. Where did they come up with those? Huh? Where did they come up with those names? My mother had a book named, called Lahoma, wasn't it? An Indian girl. And uh, she said, uh, if it's a girl, she, she didn't know there was two of them. She said, I'm going to name her Lahoma. Little boy came first. And uh, my dad said, Oh, what are you going to call him? And she said, Well, I can't think of a name right now. So they called him Little Guy for a little while, and Mother then said, Well, he came first, and Mother then said, Well, I'll have a girl next time. They didn't know there was two of us. Well, so I showed up then in a little bit, and so she said, well, that's Oak and Lahoma. So that's... That's pretty neat. <laughs> Did you grow up on a farm? Uh, yeah. Till we were, uh, let's see, uh, grade school, and uh, the little country school, we were uh, ready for the eighth grade, and they said, well, she can't go to school here. So my dad, they moved to Marlow town and we lived then in town. What did he do for a living? Farmed. Cattle or wheat or what? No, uh, cotton. Cotton. <laughs> so did you have to pick a little? Oh, yeah, a lot. <laughs> uh, and uh, let's see, we were, I think, in the seventh grade, and, uh, well, what was I going to tell you? Well, I can't think now. <laughs> Would they let you out of school to pick cotton? 
Uh-huh. Would they let you out of school to pick cotton? Oh, yeah, the little country school closed it through cotton time. Mm-hmm. And uh, so we, yeah. Anyway, my brother and I, uh, some friends of ours had a cotton sack that they pulled and picked cotton and put in it. So we we had to have a cotton sack. So we got it and picked cotton. So uh, now in Oklahoma, we uh, picked the cotton, but after we moved to Woodward, they were uh, picking the bowls, the whole thing, and boy, you just had your fingers cut and reaching and getting those cotton bowls out. So hard work, huh? Hard work. Yes, it was. <laughs> uh, Where would they take it? What? Where would they take it? Where would they take the cotton once it was picked? To the gin, and my dad worked at the gin. In Marlow? Uh huh. Or would Marlow? No, Marlow. Marlow. What was the name of the country school? Star. And what would you take for lunch? Sandwiches. I can't remember what all it was, but sandwiches, a sandwich and cake. Mother usually had cake for us. And well, how would you get there? Walk three miles. <laughs> One way. Yeah. <laughs> Take you a little while. It took a little while. Huh. Well, bad weather, my dad would take us in the wagon. And uh, so we didn't, we had a covered wagon, which if it was raining or something, why well, that's what he had used. <laughs> to take us to school and and with church was church an important part of growing up yes uh huh we went to church in the wagon <laughs> uh, so he had horses or or mules both we had mules and they were what pulled the wagon, but we had horses to ride, and so we, uh, and one time we had a pet pig, and uh, my brother and I, we petted that pig, and so I straddled it one time and tried to get him to straddled it, but he wouldn't do it. So I said, okay, I'm going to. So I straddled it and sat down, and then I was on the ground. <laughs> the pig took off. <laughs> uh, so it was quite an experience. Did you have chores you had to do? Oh yeah, uh, milk. Milk. And go hunt the cows up when it was time for them to come in. We'd have to go out in the pasture and bring the cows in. Mm. Were you a pretty good milker? Oh yeah. Uh-huh. My husband, after we were married, why he knew I'd milked, and he said, um, but you couldn't see, could you? 
and I said, yeah, and he squirted the <laughs> milk right at my face. <laughs> Did you get him back? That was... Huh? Did you get him back? Oh yeah, I'm sure I did. I can't remember, but <laughs> uh, shit. So yeah, I got him back, all right. But you have to gather the eggs and my twin brother and I, we were real close, and. Uh, Well, I forgot what I was going to say. Tell you. My twin brother. Oh, yeah. One time we were, uh, I don't know, I think five or six, something like that. And we were living in Marlow then. And um, we were sitting out on the porch and I guess it was probably my idea. I said, let's trade clothes. You put on mine and I put on yours. Because I played with the boys all the time on account of him. We, and uh, so we did change clothes. And Mother came out and she said, what are you doing? said, okay, said, uh, we were living in town, said, um, you're going to sit out there and let all the people go by and see you have changed clothes. <laughs> of course, we cried about that, but we stayed out. <laughs> uh, so, I don't know. We had a great life, happy life. How did you do bath time? How bath time? Mm -hmm. In a wash tub, a round tub of a thing, and mother would fill it with uh, water and have it out in the sun. That's how she warmed it. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, and uh, so we we had a great life. How often did you empty it? Huh? How often did she empty it? And did you all have to take a bath, all of you, before she emptied it out, or did she empty it <laughs> between children? Oh well, I don't remember. Then uh, we'd take turns. One day it'd be part of us, and then the next day another. <laughs> and I, I imagine we probably took it in the one <laughs> water. <laughs> uh. <laughs> how would you do it in the winter time? What? In the winter time, how would you do? She had to heat it on the stove. And have it in the kitchen? Mm hmm. Uh, big wood range. <clears throat> did, did she teach you how to cook? Yeah, she did. Did she? She was a good cook. <laughs> uh, what was your favorite thing she fixed? Creamed English peas. <laughs> now, isn't that weird? Uh -huh. <laughs> but, uh, oh, in fact, there was a girl called me, it's been less than a year ago, and wanted my recipe <laughs> for the creamed peas, but I could not think what it was. So I don't think I gave it. I mean, I told her partly, but I said, I don't remember. <laughs> it took a lot of cream and a lot of butter and a lot of sugar. <laughs> uh -huh. I said, a lot of cream, a lot of butter, and a lot of sugar. 
Yeah, that's right. <laughs> what well, did she grow her own peas? No. Didn't have a garden? Oh yeah. Uh-huh. And she had peas. Peas. Well, what was Christmas like when you were little? Well, we um when we went down to downstairs to for Christmas, she had it wrapped around sheets. We couldn't see it till we did all of our chores and had our breakfast and before Mother would open it up and let us have our Christmas. Mm. <laughs> that was hard. Because <laughs> uh, we wanted to see it. <clears throat> you would have a Christmas tree? Yeah, when my dad went out and chopped down a tree, and we had cedar trees mm -hmm. out in the country. So it, we had a great life. So you had, it was a two-story house? Uh-huh. How was it heated? Uh, wood. wood. Wood stoves, uh-huh. Would it be cold upstairs in the winter? Uh, I don't think, I don't remember that it, Mother, they had stoves in different rooms, I know. Okay. And so they kept it pretty warm. And then had quilts? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Quilts. Did she make your clothes? Yes. Out of flower sacks. <laughs> she bought, always bought uh, flower sacks that had a, uh, something on them. A figure or something on them. She would uh, make our clothes out of those. Mm. <laughs> uh, well, being one of the older girls, you didn't have hand-me-downs. I what? Didn't have hand-me-downs. Oh, well, yeah, I had some older cousins that I, I got the, some of their clothes, I remember. <laughs> What would you and your brother do for fun? Play with the boys. <laughs> uh, Go fishing? Yeah. No, we never did no that. <laughs> but uh, we always played with the boys, never played with the girls. <laughs> Uh, Played ball. Yeah. Ball. Uh -huh. And hopscotch. And <laughs> uh, well, when you got in trouble, who would discipline you? My dad. Mother wouldn't. She'd have him do it. And one time he said... Okay, go out and get your switch and bring in and that you want me to use. Well, I picked a real flimsy one and uh, we, I got this tooth knocked out. I have my all my teeth. That's the only one I've ever lost. And my boyfriend, we were down on a creek having a school picnic. And my boyfriend, there was willow trees and they could get it down and then walk around like that and turn loose of it and it flipped. and. My boyfriend had hit this tooth, knocked it out. 
and I have all my other teeth. Wow. <laughs> uh, and I was toothless. I mean, that tooth was out till I we moved to Woodward, and I. My mother let me go to town to see if I could find somebody that I could work for in town. We lived in the country in that two-story house. It wasn't ours. It was a house that my dad worked for the guy out of his house. And so we, I moved to town and got a job with a lady, Ms. Adams, and uh, one morning she was uh, in the, we were in breakfast and Dad said, uh, or I mean her husband said, Lahoma said, you wear clothes so well, you'd make a good model in a store. He said, would you go to work for me in the store? And Ms. Adams said, Roy, you're not going to take my girl. And he said, we'll find another one. <laughs> so I went to work in the store and did clerk then from then on. <laughs> I was tickled to death to get out on that, on my own, and... About how old were you? Still um, in high school? 17, 17, yeah. Did you graduate from Marlin? Or? Rush, Springs. Rush Springs. But I got smart and <laughs> got me a job and quit school. My brother, twin brother, went ahead and he graduated. When I when we were 17 years old, and I did I never finished school. <laughs> but you went to work. Yeah, <laughs> and made money. That's what I want wanted. <laughs> uh, well, when did you meet your husband? After we moved to Woodward, my. Dad had a brother that lived in Woodward, and he kept after Dad the gin closed one summer. Why Uncle Don talked my dad into moving to Woodward, so we moved to Woodward, and when I went to work in the that ready to wear store. My husband was working in the meat market, and that's where I met him. <laughs> what was his name? Leland Grunwald. So what was your maiden name? Williams. Williams. Okay. So what did you do for dates? For what? A date. A date? Mm-hmm. Well... Not much. We didn't have a car, or my son didn't at first. I mean, my husband. And then we got a little convertible, and uh, that's what we used. Well, did Woodward have a movie theater? Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Had one out in the country, uh, country theater and one in town. It was two brothers that owned them, Adam's brothers. Well, when did you get married? In, uh, let's see, I was 22. It was December of uh -huh. Was it December of 37? Yeah, uh-huh. December of 1937? What? December around 
Christmas? The 5th. Uh -huh. On the 5th of December, 1937. 1937. That was kind of during the Depression time. Was that during the Depression? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Did you have a honeymoon? No. <laughs> <laughs> we got married one day. And, uh, well, my husband had already found this apartment, and uh, so we got married and moved in to this apartment, and it was, it was uh, uh, upstairs was the part we had mm. in that. So, I don't know. We had a great life. Well, during the Depression, do you have anything that particularly you recall from that? From the, from the Depression days? Did I what? Do you have any any memories from the Depression days? No. Stories? We, um, of course, was uh, still on the farm, and so we had it all right. How about the Dust Bowl? We didn't have it. Woodward did. We were living in Marlowe okay. at that time. And then were you in Woodward when they had the, that bad tornado? Yeah. Uh -huh. You were in Woodward? Uh -huh. I know just a little bit. <laughs> Woodward... Um, Oh, my dad said, oh, there's a storm coming, said, come on, we'll all get under the bed. Well, we put the children under the bed, but we couldn't get under. <laughs> it's too low, <coughs> but they were safe. <laughs> so uh, we uh, lost the roof on our house. But uh, in that back porch where your sewing room was, uh -huh. where your sewing room was, it was gone. Oh yeah, my I had a little uh, sewing machine, portable, and um, it blew away. So we went a couple of days looking for it, thought, and we found it. <laughs> It was all right. <laughs> uh, well, if the children were under the bed, where were you? By the bed. <laughs> kind of scary? Yes, it was. Uh, sure was. Did you have brothers that went to the war? Brothers. Yeah, that went to World War Two. Yeah. Oak and uh, oh, Al well. went. Ooh. Yeah, I had two brothers. They both made it back. Yes. Uh huh. Did they ever write you, or did you write them? What? Did they ever write to you, write letters to you, or did you write letters to them? Yeah, uh-huh. We corresponded a little bit. So. She was a bit of a firebug when she, in uh -huh. her youth. I said, you were a bit of a firebug oh, when you were yes. little. <laughs> <laughs> One time, Mother had filled the clothesline with clothes and uh, I went out and set the fire the grass on fire under the clothesline <laughs> and then I went in the little little uh, little bedroom 
and uh, how did I start that? <laughs> I went in, in the closet, the closet or huh? Wasn't it in the closet? Yeah, and I guess I with a match. <laughs> <laughs> I set the uh, closet on fire. <laughs> uh, burned my dad's suit, burnt his suit. <laughs> How were you punished? Well, with a switch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> where was your brother where was Oak when you were doing this what where was Oak when you were doing this well he he wouldn't have any part of it <laughs> <laughs> so you were the wild he one <laughs> <away>. <laughs> uh, uh, I was the fire bug and you couldn't blame it on anyone else uh -huh. You couldn't blame it on anyone else? No. <laughs> uh, uh, well, tell about when Grandpa was hired up at May to do broom corn and you, you and Oak were riding that cow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> My dad was working for a man and uh, was it broom corn? I think that's what you said. Anyway, it was out at May, Oklahoma. Yeah, uh-huh. And um, well, I can't think. Well, the man had gone someplace. Oh, yeah. And uh, the man that my dad was working for had gone on anyway to see visit, and they came home while Oak and I was on this big old cow. Oak was on that now the cow, <laughs> and uh, the man. No, it was a horse, a pony, wasn't it? I don't. I don't was remember. Was it the cow? I thought it was a cow, but I'm not. I wasn't there. <laughs> yeah, I guess it was a cow, and um, the man that owned the where we was what my dad was working. He came home, and Oak and I was on the cow. Well, uh, wasn't, I don't know, sometime later, my dad got a letter from this man and said, okay, I'm going to blame your children with this. My cow had twin calves the other day. <laughs> Must have been fun having a twin. Yeah, it was. We were close. He died about six years ago, I think, and I'm still a kicking. <laughs> Are you the first one in your family to make it to 100? As far as I know, any, I never heard of it before. How old were your parents? Mm, I don't know. When they passed. You mean when we were born? No, when they passed. Oh, mother died at 88, I think. And dad died younger than that. I don't remember what it was. Well, how old were grandmother and granddad Gordon? It always seemed to me like they were older than the world. <laughs> no, they were... And they were both in their late 80s. Was it? 
What do you think your secret is? What? What do you think your secret is? I don't know unless I was always happy. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess. Uh, fire. Fire. Playing with fire? Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> now what about when you had the hot date and decided you needed Aunt Doris's skirt altered? Needed what? Aunt Doris's skirt altered. Aunt Doris's skirt. She had a skirt you wanted to wear on your date and it was kind of a full skirt and you wanted a fitted skirt. Oh. So, so I she, yeah, she cut it to, down on both sides to make it a fitted skirt and my mother had a fit. <laughs> <laughs> but I'd already cut it before she saw it. Uh. <laughs> so, sounds to me like the boys that were knocking on your door. <laughs> uh, no, not really. <laughs> Did you ever go on a double date with your brother? No, we never did. You, you hear a lot of stories about twins that go on dates, double dates together. Yeah. Boys yeah, and girls. We never, no, we never did. He had a lot of trouble in the service. He now had I told to go. You I got this tooth knocked out, mm -hmm. and I still have all my teeth. Guy Williams, because they said that oak, okay, that that's not a word. That he could be O A K, or he could be initials O K. And he said, no, that's not my name. My name is Oak, O.K. Williams. <laughs> so they made him use Guy in the service because mm -hmm. I guess it's so security, anything that needed a legal name, you know, why he had a lot of trouble well, convincing people. Uh, guy was his middle, middle name. name. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's your middle name? Huh? What's your middle name? Ann. Loma oh. Ann. With an E or no E? A-N-N-E? A-N-N. -N. -N. No E. Okay. <laughs> what about your other brothers and sisters? What are their names? Different? Uh, oh, there's too many to say. <laughs> but are, are any of them different like that, like um, yours? Doris. Doris May was my oldest sister. And uh, Dixie, and Donna Beth, Donna Beth, but I can't think what Dixie's middle name was. And then I had uh, Oak, and me, and... Jim, my youngest brother. Jimmy Ted. Jim, he's still alive, huh? Jimmy Ted. Uh-huh. Uncle Al. And Al has Albert. the Pollyanna Cafe in Woodward. And, well, his son runs it now. He's retired. Well, what is Uncle Al's name? Albert Vance. Vance. Okay. And then two more. That's seven. Oh. Seven. Well, little Joe, which I don't. What was Joe's name? What? What was Joe's name? Little Joe's all I ever heard him called. I don't know. Anyway, he died when he was just a small child. And then Patsy Nell. He was crawling yeah. at the time he died. Okay, Doris. Mother, Oak, Joe, uh, <laughs> Dick, Dixie. Yeah, Dixie. Donna. And Donna. And Al. And Jimmy Ted. And Pat. Patsy Nell. They were about to run out of names. 
Uh -huh. They were about to run out of names. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, it's funny, my husband that I married, he had the same nine children in his family only. He had the boys five had the boys. five and the girls four and we had five girls and four boys. <laughs> when the families got together it was a large large reunion. Oh you're not kidding. <laughs> A lot of cooking. Big, yeah. Well, what did you do for most of your life? Did you, for for work? Well, clerk, and then uh, my husband and I were in restaurants. We had the Woodward restaurant and Moreland restaurant and Canadian, Texas. Well, that was the Pee Wee Grill <laughs> in Canadian and Spearman. We had the restaurant in Spearman, Texas. What was that? One of the aides just looked uh -huh. in. One of the girls just looked in. So did you keep the books or did you cook? No, I did the cashier and kept the books. Kept the money. <laughs> and what did he do? Was he the cook? He was cook, yeah. Did he cook at home? Yeah, he did. He was good cook. <laughs> what was his specialty? Chicken fried steak was his specialty. In fact, there was a guy from Oklahoma City stopped at our restaurant in Moreland and uh, he just thought that chicken fried steak was out of this world. So he asked Dad, if he could take the recipe with him, and Dad said, yeah, I don't care. So he did. Took it back to Oklahoma City. Uh. <laughs> but my brother's wife, uh, she's so smart, she's goofy, <laughs> stupid. Anyway, she was waiting tables at this cafe. It was a steakhouse, just, what is that, two miles west of Moreland? I think so. Anyway, she had never waited tables or anything in her life. And uh, she came back to my brother one night and said, uh, Lee, you're going to have to do something about a guy out there said, he keeps telling me he wants chicken fried steak, and I keep telling him he can either have steak or fried chicken, but we don't have anything. And Lee said, oh, but we do, we do. <laughs> she never heard of that before in her life. She was from North Carolina. <laughs> well, then we need to back up. How many children did you have? What? How many children did you have? Three. Three. Two girls and a boy. The little, the youngest one. She was, wasn't she? Mm -hmm. She died with cancer. What was her name? Uh, uh, Billy Ray. <laughs> <laughs> Had to think. Uh, and then my son, Lee Ross. He lives up next to D.C., Washington. So he doesn't get home very often. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> met, met a girl in Boone. North Carolina. Carolina, and so they're still there. <clears throat> and then, the, who's the third one? Uh -huh. And then the third one. Billy. 
Billy and Lee, and, and who's the third one? Dick is easy to know. <laughs> oh, just checking. <laughs> Dixie. So she's named after your sister? Dixie. Ann? Ann, yeah. I couldn't think. <laughs> uh, of 101, you're forgiven. Yeah, yes, you are. <laughs> At 101, you're forgiven if you can't remember every day. <laughs> ah, that's good. So, since you dropped out of high school, did you make sure your children finished? Did what? Did you make sure your children finished high school? Yeah, they all finished. Billy didn't. Huh? Billy didn't. Don't you remember? She, no, she dropped didn't, out did she? at Spearman. <laughs> She took after her mother, I guess. <laughs> and you could say I decided anything. I wanted to work and make money. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, shit. I think Billy just thought she was smart enough. <laughs> Sometimes they are. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, shoot. How did you celebrate your 100th birthday? How did I? Uh huh. How did you celebrate? Big party? Here in the nursing home. Well, your 100th was at Providence Place. Come in. It's okay. Sorry, I just need to get her weight later. Oh, what? okay. She wants to get your weight later. Weight? Yeah, they're weighing today. I don't want them to get it. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you mean. <laughs> anyway, her hundreds, she was still at Providence Place in assisted living in Woodward. And we did have a big, big birthday party. party. I can't remember oh, now how many hundred people did come, but she... It was a big deal. <clears throat> do you do you have anything on your bucket list that you want to do and haven't? What? Do you have something on your wish list to do that you haven't that you want to do and haven't? I I can't think. <laughs> no place you want to visit, nothing you want to do? Huh? No place you want to visit or nothing you want to do? No, just be happy. <laughs> no, you were raising a family. Did you ever go on any family vacations? Did we what? Ever go on a family vacation? Yeah, my grandfather lived at Anna Darko and we lived at Marlowe and we went to see them when we were kids <laughs> on vacation. And one time we were going along and a car in front of us hit a n Negro man and slung him a line a long way. And they wouldn't, the bus wouldn't even stop, the school bus, to check on him. They said, no, we're not allowed to. So we went on. So I don't know if the poor man was killed or what. That mm -hmm. hmm. was back in the days so that if he was, he was. They didn't, <laughs> he was a black man. <laughs> Uh, well, did you tr go on vacation with your children? What? Did you go on vacation with your children? I can't remember, did we? Well, I if remember when we went, went to D.C. We went to see our grandparents yeah. in yeah. Savannah Darko. Yeah. But she, could, she wouldn't stay away from Daddy overnight. She had to go home. And... <laughs> The last spanking I ever got from Daddy was on my 16th birthday because I had a date and I didn't want to go see Grandmother and Mother was insisting that we go to, 
Well, grandmother was living back in Marlow at that time and had that little grocery store. Anyway, I did go. <laughs> Daddy had a way of changing my mind. <laughs> what did you call the, the noon meal? Dinner or lunch? The noon, noon. meal. Mm -hmm. Lunch or dinner? Lunch, I think, when I was growing up. And what about the, the, was it supper or dinner? No, it was dinner. Dinner. Hmm. Did you go to dances? Did we what? Go to dances. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we danced a lot. In fact, Oak and I, and then my husband, he had never danced. His dad had been a, was a pastor, and uh, he never had danced. And one time, um, my son's um, football coach and his wife was friends of ours, and they were at our house one time, and Lee asked... Uh, well, I can't think of his name, said, do you know how to dance? And he said, no, I wish I did. He said, let's go down to Koch's, Koch's uh, dance studio. And uh, so they did and learned to dance. So then we danced a lot. <laughs> Ballroom or square dance? No, ballroom. Ballroom. Hmm. We never square danced very much. We tried it a time or two, and I wasn't very good at it. <laughs> so we just did the ballroom dancing. Did you play the piano? No. No? I've always wished I could, because several out here play, and they have the hardest time getting them to play. And I th thought, boy, if I'd learned to play the piano, I'd be on it all the time. <laughs> they wouldn't have to beg me. <laughs> what would you play? Huh? If you could, what would you play? Uh, oh, uh, ballroom dancing. <laughs> Classical. Classical music. Did you sing? Uh -huh. Can you carry a tune? Not very good. I'm not good at it. <laughs> I sing, but not very good. Well, do you wake up happy every morning? Well, I think so. Not very often that I don't. Well, when history is written, what would you like it to say about you? If what? When history is finally written, what would you like it to say about you? How would you like to be remembered by others? As happy and... a ball. <laughs> what do you do in a typical day? Yeah. What time do you get up now? Uh, a typical day? Mm -hmm. It's usually seven okay. in the morning. And then go to bed at what time? Oh, about 7.30. And what do you do in between? Oh, everything. We do all kinds of activities, and we're busy all day. Do you get to read much? I don't read a lot. Hmm. 
I just, I don't, I'm not a reader. Were you before you came in? No. No. I wasn't. Mm -hmm. She was a card player. Uh huh. Card player. Yeah. What, what kind of cards? Pitch and uh, bingo and. Skip bow. Skip bow. <laughs> Bridge? No, I never played bridge. I tried it. My husband was a good bridge player, and he would insist I play, and of course I would, but I wasn't any good at it. So I wouldn't play very much. Remy? Huh? Remy? Yeah, I played Remy like that. In fact, we played Rummy yesterday, I believe it was, here. You win much? Oh, this, uh, some. Well. <laughs> Let's see, I don't believe I, yeah, I did. I won one game yesterday. Hmm. Well, do you have any advice for anyone hoping to make it to a hundred and two? <laughs> no, just be happy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and don't play with matches. Yeah. <laughs> or you might get burned. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was a. Uh, I think grandmother said the first bad. time she she threw a. What? what? When you were very small, what, two or three, when you threw one of your shoes into the fire and... Oh, I think I was four. Were you? Anyway. She was pretty small when she started. <laughs> mm -hmm. you, well, you didn't have many shoes to do that, too. <laughs> really? <laughs> How often would you get new shoes? Huh? How often would you get new shoes? Oh, I don't remember. Once or twice a year? A week? A year. Oh. Probably. For school and... Uh -huh. One for school and one for work. <laughs> I don't ever remember grandmother or anyone talking about, you know, that they had hardships like a lot of people did. But. <laughs> I told you about riding the pig, I guess, yeah. <laughs> and the cow. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> you were just adventurous. <laughs> yeah, we, I was. <laughs> Well, it, it, I thank you for telling us a few things today. We appreciate it. What? Said so thank you for talking with us today. Well, I enjoyed it. You're, you're, it's great. It's quite a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.